great kindergarten friends. I'm going to kind of try to explain to you about the film strip Dash McTrash that we were showing to you. And so you can see this big case right here, this big black case. And when I brought it home, Mr. Kit said, what is that in that black case? And sorry, it's got some dust on top from our kindergarten closet. But normally when we would be in school, we would pull this black case out of the kindergarten closet and inside is an old machine that your mom and dad should know, but some of you have probably never seen. So I'm gonna take it out of the case, and that's just made to protect it, and you can carry it. I'm gonna take it out of the case so that you can see it. And so this machine is called a film strip projector. And this is the cord that you plug it in, and it's what is gonna show our film strip. And every year in April, the kindergarten classes, since I've ever been at Kipps, and it's true for Miss Curry and Miss Mays also, we get out this film strip projector and show a special film, or that's like a movie, to the class around Earth Day for learning about our world, our environment. And so the film strip of the movies come in this box, and Miss Austin used to actually have it in the library. But we were the only ones that ever watched it in the whole school was kindergarten. She, she actually gave us this machine and the film strip to keep. And the film strip or movie is called Dash McTrash and the Pollution Solution. So this is kind of a book that came with it that tells you all the words that they say in the film strip or the movie. And on the front, you can see the main character is Dash McTrash that you'll learn about. There's his friend Duster, and they're riding inside of their pet or friend Turtle called Tidy Turtle. And he's tidy because he likes things clean and he can help clean up. But this film strip is actually very old. So you're kind of learning about history here. This one I think was made in 1972. So much older than you, maybe older, and some of your moms and dads, you'll have to ask them. I'm gonna kind of turn my camera now so I can show you how we're gonna set up to show our film strip. Normally, we would be at school and we would be watching this movie and we would project or show it on just the white screen of our smart board. And it also has a part right here, I'll hold up, hopefully you can see better, that's supposed to play a cassette tape. Some of you guys have probably never seen a cassette tape, but it comes with the movie or the film strip that looks like this. And that's what has the sound for the movie. And this part, you used to could just put the tape in here and it would work, but something happened and it broke. And so now we have to use a cassette or radio player that's like this that was in my classroom. And I brought all of this home so that we could still hopefully show it to you by videoing it on my cell phone or my video. And so I would set up my camera over there to watch the film strip projector. Now I'm gonna show you how the film goes in because it's kind of cool to see and out of all the things that we showed, this is usually a big hit with kindergartners. But some of you might be familiar with a VHS tape Sometimes we've shown that in our classrooms that look like this, that you play it in a VCR. So that's how people could watch movies. All of these things are in the past or history. So some of you have probably seen a DVD or player that's almost like a CD. But before they invented a VHS or DVD, and this was certainly before YouTube and other things, to watch a movie in classrooms, you could watch a film strip projector kind of like you watch a film or a movie in the theater. So inside of our little box here was where they had the cassettes or the sound, and inside of the box they have all these little containers. And let's pull out the first one, Dash McTrash and the Bogs, and the film, or the movie, is actually inside of here. So I'm gonna open it up to show you. And it's rolled up. And you have to find the start and you unroll it. And you can actually see 
where it starts and some of the pictures and the writing, and it's very, very small. So what happens is you take this film, which is the movie, and you put it in the machine, okay? So it has these little holes right here on the sides. Let's see if I can scoot back so you can see. And that's what you put in this part that goes down in the machine. Okay, and let's see if I can get this one started. And these, like I said, are very, very old. 47 years old when they first made this film strip. And then I can also turn it on here in a minute. I'm having a hard time getting this one started. Sometimes they're old and the little holes have come off. Let's see again if I can push it down in there. Okay. Sorry guys, this one's not wanting to cooperate. Come around on this side. I'm gonna turn it on. I'm trying to feed it in here. I have to get it in just right. Okay, sorry, finally got it. That took a lot longer than I was hoping. Thanks for being patient. So now <clears throat> that I've got it in there, you can see how I'm showing it just on the wall here at my house. And I have to get it to the start. Now it's grabbing it and it'll get it to the beginning. Okay, and so that first one, it says focus. And then you just kind of get it ready. And then, now we're ready to see the movie part then Miss Kitts has to come over here and turn on the sound part. Okay, and I won't keep it on that loud. But then I had my phone set up in front of the screen, but so that it wouldn't block the picture. And that's how we showed the movie. Okay, so that's how you get it set up in the machine. You get you a closer look at it looks like this and there's a button where I can advance or make the film go forward. Okay, so you can see that there on the wall. And I know it's kind of hard to see. That's why I had my camera close up. Okay, here's a look at the machine. I'll go ahead and turn the sound off, but it just projects or shows it on the wall. And so I had to run Mr. Kitts out of the house and tell him he couldn't talk while we were showing Dash McTrash and trying to film it. So, kindergarten friends, I've already filmed these and just wanted to kind of explain to you how it worked. And I hope you enjoy Dash McTrash. I know it is not the same as watching it at school and being together and talking about it, but wanted to try this because if we were at school, we would be watching these. And even though this is a very old, film strip, it has a very good message about taking care of the environment. So always when we're in school in April, we watch this in kindergarten and we hope you enjoy it. So we're going to have it videoed and I will share it with Miss Mays and Miss Curry. And we hope everybody just enjoys Dash Make Trash. And you can certainly think and know if Dash is fiction or nonfiction. And they definitely have a big problem to solve in the movie or film strip. So you got a little history lesson too with this machine called a film strip projector. And you can ask your family, your mom and dad, if they remember this from when they were in school.